Ah, so I, this is someone I've met who's very interesting. You are of two different species, the fairy and the witch. Yes, yes I am indeed, my lord. What do you know about a fairy or a witch, though? Um, well, I guess um, there's a big contrast in how they are viewed. Fairy is often thought of as happy and good and each other, and witches, well, they're just... Um, Witches. <laughs> oh, you silly mortal. If only you knew. If only you knew. Fairies, while we might be seen as good by some, we are gods and goddesses. We do have the power to heal and hurt. We do have the capacity to get into mischief and cause a ruckus. Um, the witchy part of me, I, I enjoy uh, I enjoy a good herb or two found running running wild. I I like to create and concoct potions, powerful, um, mostly used on the mortals. My Fae family seems to be relatively unaffected, but that's to be expected. Uh, yeah. What are there's one interesting thing I've heard between witches and fairies. You both have the power to cast love potions. Ah, are you looking for love, my lord? Oh, well, maybe I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> oh, well, I definitely think that both the fae and the witchy type have the power to, to cast love spells and create intoxicating love potions. It's rare that I find myself making them, but from time to time I, I find something that catches my eye. What would, you say are the, what would you say are the greatest distinctions between fairies and witches? A witch thinks they have a power, or they have power. A fairy inarguably has power. It's not up for debate. We, are, we might be seen as small, winged, little creatures, but we have power beyond that of their understanding. Witches strive for that, but, but that's something that a fae is born with. It's something that you inherit from who you are inside yourself. And I guess a witch is a little bit similar, but they have to try an awful lot harder. Hmm. And what would, what would you say are the differences between the powers of a witch and the power of a fairy? It depends on the witch or the fairy. Okay, look at my camera. I I know what I do is wildly different than others. Um, for both fae and witches, it depends on who you are inside yourself. And what look at my your camera motives are, what your goals Look at my camera, perfect, perfect. I think you can be good or bad or a little bit of both. Or not too sure at all, but still be one or the other. You, you really have to find inside yourself that distinction. It really comes down to yourself. Now, is it true that fairies have the power of giving you pixie dust and making people fly when they think happy thoughts? <laughs> I think you're thinking of mushrooms, my friend. Uh, the mushrooms in the forest may do that, but I don't know any fairies that have spared their gifts to help a mortal fly. If you can't fly in the first place, you probably shouldn't start now. That is not up to me to help. That is your own personal power that you need to find. Aha. Uh -huh. And is it true that witches have the power to... Is it true that a witch often uses requires a child's blood in order to become young again? That is not limited to but witches. Uh, I'm quite familiar with the fair eating bobbins. Uh, not necessarily for power, but just because the rump is so juicy and delicious. Why not? You know, there's there's quite an abundance of bobbins in most places. If you take a look around, there's a lot that are ready for the eating. There's a lot. I, I can spot a few that are just out of my reach while I'm sitting here at least, but starting to distract me, make me hungry. <laughs> Right. Yes. And how about the dire wolf? Oh, I've... the wolf is a friend of the fae. 
we revere them. We see them as gods or goddesses just as ourselves. I wouldn't dare harm that creature. But I have thoughts about the bobbin. And what about witches? Are witches on the same friendly relation with wolves? I would say so, yes. Yeah. I think witches have a deep appreciation for those big, scary, malicious things that can hurt or keep you safe. It is such a familiar, is it not? As this man holds him, you can, you can look at them and compare and see that one does not own the other. They are essentially the same. And is it true that witches love to dance naked around fires at night? Well, that's up for speculation, but I would say yes. But I, I just know that witches, if they could walk around naked all day, and every day was a full moon, there would be a lot of long nights spent with naked dancing around a fire, calling shadows and casting spells. At least the witches that I know. And are they often known to be devil worshippers? Uh, I think that's what mortals see them as, uh, but I, I do not believe so. They worship more than a false prophet or entity. They, like the Fae, find beauty and deep meaning in all aspects of life. There's no way that a witch could find a person more meaningful than all of what is around them. And that's what they pull from. That's where their energy and their love and their intensity comes from. It's that they pull from nature that they work with. And is it true that fairies have are known to have extraordinary superhuman strength? That's the one thing I think that I think. I think some fae are quite strong, remarkably, but others are a little bit lazy, if I may say so myself. Uh, it comes back to the character of the fairy. Um, some might be super strong, or some might be the laziest, laziest fairies that I've met. Now, is it, are fairies known to be... Now, here's a... Is it true that fairies often fly naked? If you don't like your god, that's a personal problem. Um, I have seen it happen. I have seen the fairies fly late in the evening after having a little bit too much mead. Um, I think if we could all be naked, I think all of us would be. Um, in our world, there's a lot of time spent in the nude, but in the world of mortals, I think we, we change a little bit, not trying to accommodate them, but just trying to fit in and observe them in a more natural way. So, in our own land, I've seen a few naked fairies fly, but not often, yeah, not often. Now, is it true that if you say you don't when someone says they don't believe in a fairy, a fairy w winds up dead. Ah, uh -huh, no, when people say they don't believe in the fae, that just means that the fae are... I don't believe in fairies. Huh? I don't believe in fairies. Oh, well then expect some trickery in your home tonight. Maybe your car on the ride home. Um, what are the things the mortals care about? Uh, you'll probably find it missing if there's something important to you that you need. I don't know. Um, you don't believe in me. I don't believe. Oh in no, you. no, I do believe in you. I just had. I do. Don't worry. No, I do believe in you. I just had to be sure. Yes, if, you. You will stumble upon some mischief and trickery if you just don't believe and don't have reverence and respect. Um, it is your job to respect me and to see me for the goddess that I am. Uh huh. And how does a fairy witch come about being? Are they like are they are they born from you know intermar intermarriage between witches and fairies? Yes, my mother was a fairy and my father is a witch. Which I mean 
that might not be the case for everybody that is a fairy or a witch because you can self-identify as a witch while still being a fae. But I am blood witch and blood fae. So that does make me a distinct mixture of the two. And what is what is your most what what kind of spells are you most well known for? I think the spells that intrigue me most and keep my attention are probably those in which benefit my environment around me, help the plants grow, um, bring rain, bring fertility, abundance. Um, I would say that. While I'm thinking of myself in the moment, they benefit the greater good overall. And if, if you had to choose, do you consider yourself more fairy or witch? Do you identify more as more fairy? More fairy. And how so? Well, I could stop deviling and witchery. You can't pull me out of being a fairy. It's not possible. Always find me toiling and creating trouble. You'll always find me connecting with things that other people don't mind for. They just this tree here has been speaking to me while you've been trying to interview me. And it, no offense, but this tree has more to say than you do. And that's just part of what being a fairy is. It's, it's connecting and having a deep appreciation for nature and for the life around you. Um, I couldn't imagine it any other way. I, I just really, I will always have a deep connection. And I will always see myself as a, a goddess. And it's hard to imagine leveling with a mortal. I just, I don't, I just don't, I don't have any desire on that level. Just, uh, is it true, isn't it true that deep down you're just ashamed of your, of your witch heritage? Oh, that's what you think, that's what you think. There's no way that I could find myself ashamed of something as, as proud as being a witch. Um, both sides of me are rooted and sewn into me. They they couldn't be ripped off and there's nothing to be ashamed about being a witch. Sure, you may carry misconceptions of the mortal, but that will never change my feelings. It just won't. I, I there's nothing a mortal or even a fae could say that could make me ashamed of that, of who I am. Could you display a spell right now? Do you have money to share? Uh, let me think. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let me think. Uh, let me get it. Yeah. Can I just take the whole wallet? <laughs> Fairies don't pass money for free. I will take it if you give it to me, but don't expect it back. <laughs> okay. Um, hang on. Pause. <laughs>